that is loud. Yo, that thing's insane. One last walk around. Just got a phone call from Deluxe Auto Body saying that the Shelby 1000 wide body is finally done. Boy, today is a busy day. I just got done lowering Betty. Video to come out on that if you've not seen it already. Go ahead and check the channel if you're watching this in the future. I just got done working with Sally as well, which is right in front of me. And so the day just does not stop. The grind does not stop. We are continuing to build the car. Let's go ahead and check out the wide body, see how it is. And um, enough talking, I do need to go to the bank and then we'll go ahead Hit up Deluxe Auto Body and check out the Miley 1000, which if you guys have not known already, the merchandise has dropped the Miley 1000 Rider Edition. Link will be down in the description. Go ahead and copy yourself some Nate Rider merch. I would appreciate it so much. And I'm talking, let's get on the road. But first, let's get a little Betty cold start. Not a really cold start, but. We just came out of Bank of America and pick up the funds to pay for this wide body. Let me tell you, building cars is a very, very expensive hobby. A lot of you guys had questions on how I finance my projects, how, uh, where did I get this money and stuff like that. I graduated from San Diego State University with a bachelor's in business management with a specialization in entrepreneurship. I am a supervisor at Apple and a content creator for Google, as well as I get about two to $3,000 from YouTube a month and I just work my butt off. I also have the $25,000 from Sally, as well as other side gigs that I'm currently doing. So keep your eyes on the prize and you can do the same thing. So enough talking, let's go to the Deluxe Auto Body. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. And here we have it ladies and gents, my Shelby 1000 wide body is finally complete done here in San Diego at the Deluxe Auto Body and you guys have already seen around. Now we can finally go in depth. I am absolutely pleased with this here. It is so damn thick. It is so aggressive and it is so mean and I just want to go ahead and show you guys the body lines, the great work that Deluxe Auto Body did absolutely custom everything they had to go so hard with these lines and i am so happy look at this perfect curvature and look at the continuation between these two and then up front we have i'm gonna put that nice badge here so I have to grab the badge but look at this continuation from here from there absolutely beautiful this is the only thing here just because currently the motor is out the splash guard is out and all the support is out already but if you go ahead and put this up here it lines up perfectly so when I put the motor back in, that line is just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Look at the gas cap, bam. Absolutely perfect. I don't really see any imperfections, which is good. We're gonna give this a couple of weeks to see exactly how it's gonna be. I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little surprise. I took out the quarter window right here just because I was never a fan of it. I actually got this idea from Mustang Manny himself. Once when I saw him in Las Vegas, he actually had this blacked out. You could still see the window. 
that idea came from meeting him so basically when I took this everything was going to be destroyed anyways so might as well just cover this up and it's gonna have that true fastback that the Mustangs have back in the 60s where they didn't have that so it's just gonna look so much better here when it's actually painted or wrapped which is what we're gonna talk about very very shortly this looks so funny I'm gonna be needing a new wheel set for sure this is about three inches in and uh, so I am selling my wheels hit me up if you guys want to purchase the full set of wheels they're in great condition has lots of tread life left here but definitely look, gonna be looking at some welds or some super snake wheels but yeah that needs to be fixed as soon as possible and the front ones probably a couple millimeters more pushed out it's not as bad but definitely need to get that fitment right this is the Shelby 1000 wide body and I couldn't be more happy with the results here Deluxe Auto Body once again here in San Diego. Shelby 1000 certified. They completed this in the best fashion possible. So definitely hit them up for any custom work. Time to tow this baby all the way to the shop so that we could put the motor in and get that 1000 wheel horsepower. And here are the two project cars put side by side. Betty and Miley. So I want to go and show you guys what we got. Betty's really, really low right now, which is so cool. And then Miley, I don't know if I'm going to lower her just because of the full setup that we have, but ooh, they're looking good. Tow truck's almost here. So we're back here at the performance lab. We've got the tow from the shop all the way to here and he's give you guys a better look of this here. You guys may be seeing some uh, inefficiency here, here but because the motor is currently out, it can't really line up. But if you guys see that, it lines perfectly up right there. And then this side is a little bit punched out and it lines up perfectly there. So I know that you guys are really picky there, but it is not put together the full motor is out i'm gonna show you guys the current motor here and inside the shop we have all the goodies here this is my motor here and then this is uh the red shelby's motor right here this one's good for 2000 horsepower the pistons are good for 3000 the rods are good for 2000 and then i think the crank is good for 3000 as well so this is good for 2000 he's got the full mmr built he's got the built heads as well everything here i'm not entirely sure which cams he's running but um definitely has the built heads i don't have the built heads my heads can handle uh, what i'm pushing the thousand wheel he's pushing some crazy crazy numbers but here are the two five eight liters side by side basically we got to grind out and put everything back together so probably another full week 40 hours Hours. It has been been delaying just because building a motor is not an overnight thing. It takes a lot of work making sure everything is right. So the video of me building the motor won't come out to probably another week or two until we get this complete. And then as mentioned before, we have the Kenny Bell Mammoth Supercharger. If you have not seen the reveal video on that, go ahead and check my channel. That is the official supercharger, 3.6 liter that I'll be putting on my motor and then he and then the red shelby is going twin turbos i don't know where his twin turbos is but this is the intake that he's going to be running with some other crazy stuff i don't know where his stuff is but uh, i think it's all right here still don't know where his turbos are anyways side by side we got the 1500 horsepower and then the 2000 horsepower it's going to be absolutely insane so here we got the triad of shelby's as mentioned before the red shelby the white Shelby and then there's Miley so initially Miley's motor blue got the red Shelby's motor I had the red Shelby's motor for about 8,000 miles the white Shelby's motor blue so now my original motor 
which was the red Chevy, is now going in the white Chevys. The red Chevy purchased my 1500 horsepower block, found out he could only make 1500 horsepower and sold it to me. So now I'm beginning the 1500 horsepower motor. And then he bought a brand new 2000 horsepower to race the half mile, 200 plus miles per hour. Um, back in his home country so i'll definitely be uh giving you guys some more insights on the 2000 horsepower as well as the 5.8 once when uh the conversion of the 5.4 to 5.8 is complete and that's basically the triad of shelby's to give you guys an update of what is going on i'm gonna go ahead and line her up right there so we have everything put together i want to show you guys also the inside this is what it looks like in the inside very clean very subtle and then right here we're gonna put the the emblem really really nice here i do want to do a custom emblem but the emblem that i have is pretty cool already so this is really cool i'm loving these lines and if you guys just look bang the line continues all the way straight through same as the bottom that is what i'm super stoked about and then if you guys could see right here the line goes down right into there and then it goes up disappears and then comes in and matches the full line of the car so everything the rear is actually really perfect they did say the rear was the hardest part just because they had a custom do it everything here but that is just a better view of the Shelby 1000 here. Definitely need new wheels as mentioned before. I'm gonna talk to Mustang Manny and see what he did with this because I'm not a big fan of this flaring out in a weird angle. It just doesn't look cool at all. As well as this one right here. I think it'll be looking pretty chill. If we just take this and have uh, this put on. I do wanna make a video and see what I should do. Definitely I'm gonna paint it black here. But I do want to try out a wrap. Um, comment down below what you would like to see on the wrap or just a paint. What kind of color do you think the Shelby 1000 would be? I do want to do some custom decals all around here. Get some cool prints as well as a windshield banner as well as a rear banner. But also tell me what you guys think about this true fastback without the quarter window. I think it looks pretty cool. It gives it more of a race car, sports car type deal. And I'm just in love with the quarter window delete. If you guys are doing this, definitely delete your rear window. Nobody really likes that anyways. If you guys know anybody selling the Super Snake wheels, I am curious about getting Super Snake or I might just get some custom welds and put a fat Mickey Thompson on there. That's also something that I'm looking into just because I really do need at least um, 13 inch wide wheels or a crazy offset with some i don't i'm not really sure about the wheel specs but definitely want to run a 355 tire in the back but here it is the shelby 1000 wide body completed just got to finish the motor hard work but glad that i could show you guys this and again i love this gas cap it is one of the coolest things ever i also do need a new hood i'm looking into the super snake or i'm looking into the cowl four inch hood comment down below what you would like to see on miley either the cowl super snake or if you have any other reference also let me know i'm also contemplating on just keeping the stock hood and cutting out the supercharger so the supercharger is exposed which would be pretty cool i don't know if you guys would like that or not but a possibility is just cutting all around here so you see the big old kenny bill popping out and whining like crazy. So I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that. That is an option that I want to do. And of course, if you guys have the Shelby 1000 hood, which is hit me up because I would love to rock the Shelby 1000 hood on this one, if possible. Also, the next thing I need to do is just swap all of this plastic out for carbon fiber. That is definitely on the bucket list because with this, definitely needs carbon fiber all around. And here's the triad of Shelby's lined up together. They look so good. So happy with everything here. Cannot wait to get back on the road. They need, need to get back on the road as soon as possible. I like